Hey guys, it's your boy FTO back again with another video. And as you can tell guys by the title below, it's a pretty exciting one because it's my review of the new Nike Mercurial Superfly 4s in the latest colorway or signature colorway natural diamond pretty excited about this one thanks to all you guys that have been supporting me by you know liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so smash that subscribe button but yeah let's get straight into the review when i say a big shout out to the guys at Lovel soccer for providing the boots if you haven't actually checked them out i'll leave the link in the description below you can literally purchase these or any boot that comes out on the market and when you do actually make a purchase from them they actually offer you free id so you can get your name or number customized onto the actual boot for free. Like, I don't know anyone else that does that yet. So check them out. I'll leave their link in my description below. But yeah, let's get straight into the review now, guys. So standard orange box, nothing new there. And first thing out of the box is the string bag, as you do with um, all high-end Nike boots. It's a kind of royal blue color, which then fades into, you know, a black and blue pattern down here below you've obviously got the nike swoosh there in, in silver with a kind of glittery finish to it black strings once again on the other side royal blue then fades into a kind of blue and black pattern down here and then the cr7 branding once again in silver with a glittery finish so all in all really nice string bag i must say i really like this one um so yeah and all that's left are the bad boys themselves. Now, let me know your thoughts, guys, on these. You know, are you a big fan of them? The look, the colors used? Let me know. I'm actually really interested to know what you guys think about these. So leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely reply to you. So what I'll do, as I always do, is put a left boot here, guys, for you guys to see. Hopefully you can see that. And talk about the right boot here, as you can see. So these are the new um, CR7 general release um, colorway, natural diamond really big fan of these i must say from the get-go but what i'll do is actually tell you a bit about them so this is actually also known as chapter two so as well as the name natural diamond they're actually going by the name chapter two now the reason for that is because this is the second boot to actually come out in the kind of general release cr7 signature line so the first one to come out were the savage beauties which i did a review on i'll try and leave a like an annotation to a link to make you go there if you haven't seen that check that out also if you haven't done so but that boot was a representation of you know Ronaldo's hometown Madeira and they done that with a bit of lava print which you must have seen these boots going about um, and I thought that was a really nice cool boot well this is the second one um, to come out in in this line and they've actually represented Ronaldo in terms of acknowledging that you know he is a natural diamond hence the name um, but however they've actually you know kind of represented Ronaldo in the sense that they've put this kind of texturing which is really unique and a heel and back area of the boot which is I haven't seen this kind of done before on a boot at all and it's just you know explaining that you know he was a rough diamond you know when he began his career he then had to move from Madeira and you know pursue his career so we had to work really hard to turn that kind of natural talent into you know what we know today in, in Ronaldo as being the world's best player or okay arguably one of the world's best players so because I know a lot of you are going to be you know Messi's better no Neymar's even better some people say now but yeah Ronaldo is one of the best players I think we could agree that uh, one of the best players in the world and so it's just a showcase and you know that journey from being kind of a rough diamond into the finish which um, finished product which we could obviously see at the front of the boot which Ronaldo is now so I think they've you know told that story really well with this texture um, that they've done at the back here going into this smooth kind of finish but yeah that's a bit of information about the boot which is really cool and really interesting I must say but as you can see the upper is essentially a royal blue color kind of metallic but not fully there but yeah I really like the royal blue that they've used it's then got a silver um, Nike swoosh going along there which has a kind of glittery finish to it also um, which I really like again it doesn't have any tags um, in the box saying that it's got to rub off um, the glittery finish but I'd imagine over time it must it will take a while before it comes off so that's pretty good really cool you've then got the CR7 branding here with a kind of glittery finish once again that's in a section of the boot that won't actually you know you know make contact with the ball or the ground so it should stay like that for the lifespan of the boot so that's obviously a really nice touch along the laces you've got a combination of blue and black 
and also the flight exposed flying it is also blue and black going along the you know exposed flying it and the color which is really cool i think that works really well with the royal blue that's used on the upper the mercurial branding in black going along the hill and finally in terms of the color a black carbon fiber sole plate so all in all guys real big fan of this colorway i must say i'll let you know know guys right now from the get-go this is actually one of my favorite colorways that the superfly falls have been releasing big bold statement it's one of the last as well so it's funny that you know one of the last ones is actually for me personally the one of the best colorways they've actually released a boot in so yeah really nice colorway let me know your thoughts on that on these boots guys in the comments below the upper is made out of fly knit so it's really light really soft and when your foot is actually in the boot it does have a kind of barefoot feel when you do make contact with the ball and saying that guys it, it does feel like more like a sock however compared to maybe the vapor 10 for example and that's because it's an actual knitted material so it has got a bit of padding to it and for me i really like that because i don't really like the rawness of the vapors i don't mind it but you know what now and again you do want that kind of soft soft kind of padded feel which this does definitely give you as it's a knitted material saying that guys another feature that you might be really interested to know is obviously the fly wire which runs from the sole plate into the actual lacing system and once you pull on this lace um lacing system which is centralized by the way it then you know pulls on these um fly wire or brio cables as they're also known by and locks your foot in place which is really handy as you don't want your foot moving around the boot not really a nice sensation to have that and just to top it up as if that wasn't enough there's also an internal support page to hold your foot in place which is really cool as once again you don't really want your foot moving around while you're playing football it's not really nice at all then also guys you've got an internal heel counter inside the boot itself which is there to just as you know to kind of stabilize your heel within the boot so your foot shouldn't be moving around in in these boots at all there isn't that much flexibility once you've actually then tightened the laces so you know remember that if you are looking to get these superflies or any you know superflies as it does have the um, same features also guys the laces um, are also this this area of the boot is actually made out of elasticated kind of fly knit material and then goes up into where the tongue would be and then goes up into this color which i must tell you guys doesn't actually help your performance or you know enhance your performance in any way it's just there more as the fact that it's really trendy to have a kind of mid-cut boot at the moment i would say though it does give a kind of more seamless sensation from your leg into the actual boot so when you've actually got the boot on and your legs obviously going into it that kind of sensation around here it just feels like you've got an extra sock on it doesn't feel like you've actually got a boot on which is a really nice touch i feel and i really like that sensation as you will see in my test which i will be putting out really shortly after i put out this video inside guys you've got a kind of leather synthetic leather lining which is really comfortable once again probably not the most comfortable boot on the market but once again with that leather lining just adds a bit more comfortability when your foot is actually inside it it's obviously covered in um nike skin also you've got the acc all condition control feature which just allows the boot to perform in all weather conditions so whether that's wet or dry exactly the same which it will perform exactly the same in wet weather as it does in um dry weather so that's a really nice touch and just talking about this texturing at the back here guys a lot of you might feel like it might affect your performance or your touch it actually doesn't as it's you know in an area that doesn't make contact with the ball really around the back and around the back of the heel area and the back of the boot so you you don't really make that many touches with the ball in this section here so it shouldn't affect your touch or your performance in these boots at all moving on guys what i'll do actually is i've actually removed the sole of these already and as you can see it's got the kind of pattern that you saw in the string bag and it's not i don't know it, it just looks like maybe dried up lava maybe i'm i'm guessing as it's from you know a representation of ronaldo we all know madeira is obviously a volcanic island by now and also if you didn't see it does say chapter two in there meaning that this is obviously the second boot to be released in his general release kind of cr7 signature line so that's a really nice touch um, the 10 doesn't actually mean that this is like the 10th one made. It's just his gen the 10th general release um, boot. And as you know, 
the Savage Beauties were number nine, for example, and so on and so forth. And finally, you've got the Soul Plate, which is carbon fiber. And now, for me, that's just as good as it gets in terms of sole plates. Carbon fiber are really strong, but at the same time, flexible in the right places, which is always important um, in terms of agility. But you've also got that, you know, world-renowned stud layout, which all of us know, for me, well, personally, I really like. So that's a, you know, run through of these boots. For me, I'm a big fan of these. As I said, this is probably my favorite colorway they've actually been released in. And just to let you know that, no, there will actually be another five, yes, five general release um, CR7 signature um, colorway boots to come out over the next couple of seasons. So this is the second one. There's five more to come, which I'm really excited about. What I'll do is put them on for the on feet so you guys can see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these. So guys, here we are at the on feet of the um, Superfly 4, obviously in the latest colorway, Natural Diamond. They look absolutely amazing on feet. I love them. I think this is my favorite colorway. Um, that the Superfly 4s have actually been released in. What I'll do is show you the sole plate there really quickly. It's an FG boot, so if you do get them in FG, try and refrain from using them on artificial pitches as you will wear out the um, bladed studs. In terms of the fitting, if you're, you know, it's true to size, so if you're a nine, get a nine as I am, or if you're an eight, get an eight, and so on and so forth. By the way, if you've got like excessive wide feet, do remember that there is Brio cable, also known as flywire, going along the sides and a support cage which locks your foot in place. So there isn't room for flexibility or much movement of your foot once it's inside. But in terms of, you know, comfort, really comfortable. Absolutely love these. These are probably one of my favorites. So guys, that was the on feet. And to round up guys, what I'll do is, you know, score them out 10. And I think personally, from my point of view, I think these are nine out of 10. I think they're absolutely amazing. I love the colors that they use and the look, especially with the texturing at the back here. I'm a fan of it. Comment below, are you? And if not, why you don't like the texturing? But yeah, as I said, guys, I would really like to know what you guys think about these. They're retailing for £249.99 at Lovel Soccer. I'll leave the link in the description below and also how much that is in other currencies like dollars and euros. But yeah, really big fan of these. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And also, if you haven't done, guys, please subscribe. Peace.